What's up guys, it is Bucky Mouth Bass back here again today and as y'all can see by the title I'm going to be comparing the Bass Tracker 175 against the Bass Tracker 190 and as y'all can see we own the Bass Tracker 175. We've had it about a year and a half now and if you missed my last comparison video between the 175 and the Classic XL I'll leave a link up top right now and down below to some other boat reviews and comparisons that I have done in the past in case you want to check those out at the end but let's go ahead and cue the epic music along with the intro but before we do that please go down hit that subscribe button and the bell so you do not miss anything in the future and keep in mind this video is just my opinion if y'all disagree with anything please go down in the comments and let me know what you disagree with and why you disagree with it Alright, so how today's video is going to work is we're going to talk about the similarities between both of these boats. Then I'm going to break it down and talk about the direct differences that you get between the 175 and the 190. Then at the end, I will offer y'all my final thoughts and impressions and which boat I would personally buy. So the first thing you get on both of these boats is both of these boats come with a Mercury four stroke motor. So you're getting a solid motor in our personal experience, the 75 horsepower that we have on this Bass Tracker 175 has held up very good and we have had no problems with it. It runs very smooth. So on both boats, you're getting the exact same Mercury engine. Then both of these boats come stock with one low rance fish finder. Both of these boats actually have an extra location on the front of the boat. So you can actually install a second fish finder. But when you go buy this boat brand new or the 190 brand new, you get one low low rance fish finder right here in the middle of the boat as y'all can see then another feature i really like and this is universal to all bass tracker aluminum boats is that you get a completely welded hull so you get a lot less water coming into the bottom of the boat than if you had a boat with rivets in the bottom so i really like the all welded hull that tracker has on their aluminum bass boats now moving on both of these boats come automatically with a trailer so you don't have to pay for them separately the price that you pay includes the boat and all the features of the boat and it comes with that trailer ready to drive anywhere then another feature that you get on both of these boats, both of them come with good size live wells. So if you're looking to fish a tournament or anything like that, you're gonna have plenty of space to keep fish on the boat. Now on both of these boats, you get two batteries. So one for the actual motor itself, then you get the second one for the trolling motor up on the front. And both of them come with spots for a third battery that you can connect up to the front trolling motor. On R175 that we have here, we have three batteries in the boat so we have two hooked up to the front trolling motor and I highly recommend doing that because with only one battery you will run out of charge and especially if you want to go fishing for a long time you don't want to be having that problem so one of the first upgrades I would make to either of these boats would be buying another battery for the trolling motor but that'll be a whole nother video where I talk about upgrades that you can do to your bass tracker boats and like I said earlier if you don't want to miss that video make sure you go down and subscribe now both of these boats come with a good paint job as y'all can see the boat looks very nice in my opinion and you're getting that on the 175 and the 190 as well then both of these boats come with very good storage space you get a rod box and you get multiple storage compartments for tackle or anything else that you need to put on the boat so if you're looking to tournament fish and you like to bring a ton of rods and a ton of tackle there's going to be no problem doing that on either of these boats all right that's enough for the similarities here today now we're going to move over to the differences between these two boats so on the 175 you can get starting at a 60 horsepower motor 
or you can get the 75 horsepower. We have the 75 horsepower. I highly recommend going with that one if you do decide to buy the Bass Tracker 175. But again, that's just my personal opinion. But on the Bass Tracker 190, you can get starting at a 90 horsepower mo motor or you can get the 125 horsepower motor. So that's definitely a big difference. You're gonna be able to go a lot faster with that 125 horsepower motor, but going from the Tracker 175 to the Tracker 190 with only a 90 horsepower motor, I don't really know if that's worth the upgrade. Honestly, going from the 75 horsepower to the 90 horsepower, you're not gonna be able to go that much faster considering that the Bass Tracker 190 is a larger boat so it is going to slow it down a little bit you'll get about four to five miles an hour more going from the 75 horsepower to the 90 but that's about it guys so y'all let me know what you think about that down below if you got an opinion on that so both of these boats hold exactly 21 and a half gallons of fuel so if you're looking to tournament fish you're not going to be running out of gas or anything like that so they come with nice size fuel tanks now moving on to the length of both of these boats the bass tracker 175 is 17 feet and 7 inches long while the 190 is 18 feet and 7 inches long so you're getting an extra foot at the front of the boat if you do decide to upgrade to the 190 but honestly i think this boat is plenty big enough but if y'all own the 190 and like that one better let me know down in the comments now i'm going to talk about the top speeds of both of these boats we're going to start with the tracker 175 with the stock 60 horsepower motor so with that stock 60 horsepower motor you can get to about 40 miles an hour you probably are going to be clocked at about 37 or 38 again if you own it and, and have had a different experience let me know down below but with the 60 horsepower on the 175 you're going to get about 37 to 38 miles an hour across your lake now moving on to the 190 with the 90 horsepower you're gonna get just over 40 miles an hour you'll be able to go about 45 at the max if the lake is calm and there's no wake or anything like that again if you own that particular boat and have had a different experience let me know down below in the comments now both of these boats come with the exact same size live well you're getting a 21 gallon live well in the back of the boat so there's no difference there so paying more money for the 190 does not get you a bigger or better live well it's exactly the same as the 175 now one of the biggest differences between both of these boats today is the 175 starts at seventeen thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars so about 18 grand and the bass tracker 190 starts at twenty thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars so about 21 grand so to go from the stock 175 to the stock 190 it is an automatic three thousand dollar upgrade so for me it's hard to tell y'all which one is better for the money if y'all have an opinion let me know down below in the comments but at the end of the video i will give y'all my thoughts and impressions and which one I would personally buy. Now another big difference between both of these boats is that the Tracker 175 comes with a 45 pound Minn Kota trolling motor while the 190 comes with a 55 pound trolling motor so that is a significant upgrade going from the 175 to the 190. I definitely like the big trolling motor a lot better because the 45 is a little bit slow especially if there's waves or anything like that so a few more features between these boats that are different is the 190 you're going to get a lot more space for storage and a lot more space for rods especially on the top of the boat on the 175 you can really only keep rods on the left side of the front on the right side you can't really keep rods because there's just not enough space there but with the 190 you have space on both the left and right side side of the front of the boat to put rods while you are fishing so now i'm going to offer you all my final thoughts and impressions and which one i would personally buy if i was going to be spending the money in my own personal opinion the bass tracker 175 is definitely a better value for the money in my thoughts you are not getting enough new features or enough upgrades moving from the 175 to the 190 to pay three thousand more dollars again if y'all disagree let me know down below but like i was saying there's just not enough extra things that you're getting in the 190 to warrant a three thousand dollar price increase so i would definitely go with the 175 that's a big reason 
why we decided to pick up the 175 and not the 190 because we just didn't think we were getting enough to upgrade and pay more for the 190. And one final thing I want to throw in into the video here today is if you guys do decide to buy the 190, obviously you don't have to listen to me but I would definitely not get the 90 horsepower because you're just not getting enough of a speed increase going with that 90 horsepower. I would definitely upgrade and at least go with the 115 horsepower. But again, if y'all disagree, let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And again, if y'all disagree with anything today, let me know down in the comments. But if you like these kind of videos, go down and leave a like and let me know below. But I will see y'all back here next time and do not forget to hit that subscribe button.